regular uh, right. A -type steel. boilers. Yeah, and these are M type boilers. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and the way this worked, as you can see inside over here, is the, the uh, fire break area over here. And they would heat up in, I think, that chamber up there, fuel from the fuel tanks that this real thick viscous bunker seen yeah. to 150 degrees, and then introduce it into the, uh, uh, these areas here with these nozzles. Uh, and then it would eventually generate a flame that would be maybe as high as six feet tall. Uh, connected to this are a series of as many as 5,000 steel tubes that would heat this water. And the water would be taken in by way of the uh, distillation plants that are located throughout the ship. Come down here, drums up, drum up there. Yeah, that would be the steam drum, right. just the mud, the mud drum. drum. And the tubes go between the steam and mud drum, the exhaust. Yeah, up, up, the, up the stacks and uh, mind if I pull the board burner? Yeah, go ahead. I think we got one over there. Let's go see if you can. There's a burner tip. Burner tip. It would have a spray nozzle on the inside of that. That would uh, once that that warmed uh, bunker fuel would be uh, dispersed in a kind of a cyclonic type of a pattern. And when you pull these out, they'd be covered with incredible amounts of gunk. And you would have to change those <laughs> yeah, three times every every uh, shift, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so when it's introduced in there, you can control the amount of combustion by way of this air register. Movers that are in these air registers. Here's a, a good example of, uh, that might be a little easier to operate. But you got to have a combination of air, fire, and, uh, and fuel. The, the combination of all three of them would uh, uh, generate the heat to heat the water up. And above it's, here, you got four draft fans. And they blow the air down in between the casing and the boiler. Yeah. So just, they heat up the air so you get better combustion. And were you ever assigned to clean out that area in there? Oh, I yeah, been, I've cleaned boilers. <laughs> it's not, not particularly fun. But between this here bulkhead and that uh, area over there, because you can stick a guy in there and scrape and clean that, as well as, you know, scrape the fire brick. Yeah, right? I've, 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 the, the bad is when you're doing the fire brick and you're burning Bunker C. Bunker C has a lot of acid in uh -huh. it, and uh -huh. it, it, you get powder over everything. So you're in there cleaning, and, and then the powder's getting all over you, and then you start sweating, and it turns into acid. And it's like, all of a sudden, your neck's burning, and it's like, it's not a fun thing to do. And a lot of times, the guys that were assigned to the brig were in there. To, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's a good punishment. That's a good punishment. <laughs> <laughs> but one other thing that was kind of interesting was uh, you had these scopes yeah, here. Yeah, uh, what the, uh, the at the top of the uptakes, what kind of plume of smoke you were generating. And if you were doing this the right way, you would have an efficiency haze of gray brown that looked like, uh, you know, maybe Los Angeles smog circa 1980 or so. And uh, that was a good thing to do. If it was black, of course. Uh, if you get black smoke, bad. you got too much fuel. If yeah. you get white smoke, you got too much air. And sometimes you would want to generate a white smoke plume, right? Right. As, you know, as, as protection, as, you know, uh, trying to camouflage right. something, but uh, you had to back blow the uh, the tubes in there because they would accumulate with all sorts of grit, like yeah. you were saying, and you had to do that at least twice a day, right, every 12 hours? So when they did that, they had to make sure that the ship was positioned in such a way so that it was all the soot would not go on yeah, to so the you aircraft. Don't want it on the deck in the aircraft. Yeah, so you know, it was a very uh, Again, calculated high, thing that you had to get permission from the captain to do. Highly, highly acidic. You don't want to dump that on the ship. Yeah, not on, you don't want to have that on the deck. You don't want to have it on the planes. So, uh, but it, you had to do that because the efficiency of the uh, of, of the boilers had to be perched. And if you didn't do that, you, you know, you would get really bad efficiency on the, uh, the amount of fuel consumption that we're using. But uh, that's what the scopes are for, is to, to see what that plume is. In addition to that, they usually had somebody stationed up on top watching the plumes and reporting back if it was okay or not. And uh, kind of all of that happened down here. And the other thing is you watch the color of the flame. Yeah, and the color of the flame. Right. The if it's, glasses over if it's here. too orange, you'll probably be burning black. Uh -huh. It's too too white. You'd probably be burning more. It was like the cub. There was a like golden color you wanted to keep it. Now you know your stuff. You remember that pretty well. Been there, done that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, let's go on the other side over here. You can get an idea of. Uh, you know, this was the how they used to light the burner. Was that they would uh, have oil on.
factor for whatever reason uh, beyond the 33 knots uh, rating of the ship is that the, uh, the uh, chief engineer had a set of these and these nozzles here that they could literally put in there that were used High capacity nozzles. Yeah, nozzles. so that if you really had to haul ass and go maybe uh, 34 or 35 or 36 knots is that they could put certain inserts in here that uh, would be allowing the sprayer plates and everything to make these things go beyond their spec you know, speed. And these are mechanical tips. So on merchant ship, they, they put steam in too. They wouldn't, they don't do that on naval ships, I don't know why. Uh-huh. I think it, I think well, it has a reliability thing. Is that what it is? Yeah. The, it, the, on the merchant ships, it gives you a little more fuel efficiency. Uh, what well, would there be need on a merchant ship to go real fast? Uh, well, this, this being a man Just passenger war. ships. Um, not normally you want to get up to your most efficient speed and stay there. Uh, yeah, just kind of dial it in and hold it there. Yeah, now the young rep tanker, you want it to go fast because you have to keep moving with the, the carrier but, task groups. But don't they go at maybe 12 or 15 hours? They usually go about 20. 20? Yeah. Uh-huh. We, we, we get up to the tanker, almost the tanker's full speed when we were unwrapping. Uh-huh. Carriers don't like to go slower than 20 because the big targets. <laughs> Faster moving. Yeah. Right. Better, less chance of getting hit. Makes sense.